Hello everyone. So, <laughs> anyone who knows me knows I have a soft spot for Doodlebug. And depending on the collection, I'll save up and get pretty much the entire collection. So, this is the Love Notes collection. Technically Valentine's, but one, Valentine's is literally in a couple days. Two, it's, in my opinion, it's, a lot of it is open-ended. There's a few things that are specifically Valentine's with this, like February 14th, blah, 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 but it's cute. It's adorable. Loving it. So I thought I would still film this even though, again, I'm behind with everything, but it's just too cute not to share. So yeah, let me open up the six by six pack. Really, what really got me with this collection is just the color combos and then, of course, the little graphics and whatnot. Really, really cute stuff. All of their 6x6 six six papers are double-sided. Hearts, little sprinkles. I like all the little, like, love notes. Again, stripes and florals, hearts, polka dots. You know, just really, really cute patterns that for a lot of it will just work. Regardless, I, again, I like, they've been doing this more like little tags you could easily just cut. And they are literally double-sided on this paper, let me show. So if you cut them and then snipped off the edges, you've got all these cute little tags, which I think is so cute. That's fun. So yeah, just really adorable patterns. So there's a the pattern paper. There is, of course, which going to be a little more difficult to show because I don't have the space. 12 by 12s. There's the 12 by 12 um, double sided cardstock and then the 12 by 12 just pattern paper which like everything I when I can get them because sometimes of course everything sells out before I can but I like the 12 by 12 papers because I would either use them as the background when I would take pictures of my cards, like I'd just lay out the pattern paper, you know, pop, plop my cards on, take some pictures, whatever. But the other thing is I like to use these to make envelopes out of. And now that Simon has those envelopes away for dies that I have been using for everything. Let's see if I can actually pull this stuff out here. There we go. So Basically just a much larger scale than the 6x6. All double-sided. Tags again in the larger size and again double-sided so meant to like be cut. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 18 tags. Really? That's really cute. But again, for the majority of something like this, I would just use it. Use it to make envelopes because it's so cute. So you get a whole bunch of, uh, it says 12 double-sided pieces of the cardstock paper, it's just pattern paper. A nice weight to it, of course. Doodlebug is always very, very good quality. And then you also get a whole 12 by 12 sheet of stickers. I like these ones, because they're all little sentiments. You can just pop them off like that. So you got little sentiments, little like images, labels, that sort of thing. Really cute. So there's that one. And then the other one is the, I guess you call them more basic patterns. And again, these are the ones that are even like really, really good for envelopes because they're a little less busy, I guess you could say, than the other ones. And then of course they coordinate really nicely, as is the point. But yeah, double-sided with different Different little patterns, you know. Typical doodle bug adorableness love, you know. And that's one thing I like too about like using papers like this for the envelope because you'd have the outside and then because they're double sided, there'll be like a different little pattern on the inside. It's just cute and I love it. Love it. So there's those. There's the stickers, of course, which I already kind of showed. You have like the main ones and then just a smaller version, the mini icons. And the mini icons, you get um, two sheets. These are more meant for planners. 
you know you can decorate your planners because a lot of people are really into that if that's their thing it's great i'm not a planner or like i use a planner but i don't bother with like decorating it or anything things like this i just like to add i usually add it to like the insides of my cards and or collect it and don't touch it because you know it just makes me happy owning it so really cute these ones are a little more like cardstock weight so you get a full sheet of those there's stamp sets doodle bugs started releasing stamp sets a while ago so a couple of really cute sets in this kind of collection so there's the i pick you so solid flowers with layers so you can layer up you know stamp it in a lighter color do the layer in a darker color little like stems and whatnot even little like words that you could layer on top so just really cute you can get coordinating wafer dies which is really nice so there's that one and then this one the love notes set again super bowl it's got two little birdies cute little bicycle you know and it goes of course very well with images already in everything coordinating wafer die set for all of these and then we've got this time I did get a bunch of the doodle pop stickers because I couldn't resist so these are all thir 3d stickers they have like popped up elements it's hard to kind of show they're like glossy accent type pieces so it's all this whole sticker is all very dimensional and it's got like glossy sometimes they'll have like glitter accents on them and stuff too really cute so yeah love it love the mixtape one i just thought that was so cute little birds little typewriter so yeah just oh, they make the cutest things always 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 um other embellishments of course more sprinkles we have the roses are red sprinkles I got, I should have got more packs of these, more mini hearts. These are lots of love. I love the colors. I like adding these to just random cards, you know, little embellishments and add little hearts. And then there's bigger ones. These are the heart to heart. So much bigger. So they just all play nicely together. And then just the love assortment of sprinkles. Really, really like this kind of minty green color. It just, uh, this whole color combo I really like. Really pretty, just nice got that one and then the washi tape um I love you washi tape literally it says I love you again I like to use the washi tape generally when I'm just crafting I use a tape down wafer dice but I also like it to seal my em like to after I've sealed the envelope just put a strip of washi tape on it you know so there's also this pretty posies so that floral pattern really cute and this one I thought was adorable this is the swack like s-w-a-k sealed with a kiss washi tape and it's like postage stamps it's wider so uh, how cute is that i just love it i think it's so adorable so i will probably i'm gonna hoard all of it why not that's what i do <laughs> so we got that and then last but certainly not least, of course, there is the odds and ends and chit chat packs. You get a ton. I can't help myself when I order these. I just, I literally can't help myself. Even though more often than not, I don't use them. I'm not big on the ephemera. More often than not, I have difficulty using ephemera. Some people just make it look so effortless and it just works. I, more often than not, I'm just like, no, this looks horrible, sort of a thing. But every once in a while, it all comes together. But again, I can't resist wearing it. So we've got the Chit Chat, which is 79 die cut pieces, and it's going to be a ton. So just tons. Again, this stuff's more meant to for scrapbookers because you've got all these great pieces and they're all like larger sizes too so you know you do a big 12 by 12 scrapbook page you can have all of these pieces of ephemera to you know put it all together you're my type be my valentine just like just cute so yeah always there's a valentine word i assume there's like all the letters to spell it, love l-o-v-e that sort of thing more banners like so cute Love is in the air, all that stuff. You know, just really, really cute stuff. And there's just there's tons of it. It doesn't end. 
Oh, I love it so much. There's that. So that was the chit chat one. Okay, there's chit chat. And then we have the odds and ends love notes. This one has 77 die cut pieces. And of course, just larger scale of the images on the paper and the stamps. A cute little house, little calendar with the February 14th, cute little cupcake, more little love notes. Oh, I like those clouds. Those are really cute. You know, like, I like these little mixtapes. Ah, <laughs> uh, mixtapes. Love it. Love it. So much little, little, like, Polaroid type frames. Seriously, really cute stuff. Isn't that cute? So much fun stuff. Little florals, everything. Post office box. Oh. So, yeah. Tons of those, and then last, but certainly not least, um, is this Odds and Ends collection. This is the I Pick You. So this is all flowers. Flowers and hearts and leaves, which is really fun. Aren't those cute? So, so, so cute. Love it. These are just fun. So yeah, I'm kind of somewhat inspired. As always, like a lot of times, like I just, sitting and playing with my Doodlebug collections, like I'll kind of flip through them. Like I said, I don't often use them, not nearly as much as people expect me to. <laughs> However, I'll get inspired, like the color combo is inspiring me and just, yeah, the flowers and the leaves and like that's why I collect Doodlebug because I'll flip through it and it'll just give me ideas, you know? And then I'm happy. Like, a big chunk of this hobby, for me anyway, it's different for everyone, but a big chunk of this hobby is having like certain little collections, you know, certain brands that I just like to collect, whether I use them or not. I literally get joy from just owning them. So it's just what I do. And Doodlebug has been one of those brands for a very long time now. So I love it. So as always, I will link to everything down below. I, th I'm, I think I did get the entire collection this time, but if I didn't, um, I'll have links to whatever I might possibly have missed. And yeah, I would say stay tuned to see me make things with this, but okay, no guarantees. I might, you never know. <laughs> I just like sharing it so you guys can see it, you know, in real life as much as possible. Because of course, always like looking at things online rarely ever does it justice. Like, yeah, I never used to order these little odds and ends packs because looking at them online, I was like, I don't, they just seem kind of ridiculous. And then you get your first pack of it. And that's where the addiction starts because they're huge and they're full of a ton of good things and they're just fun. So to my fellow doodle bug, you know, lovers that are in this boat with me, love you guys. And yeah, stay tuned for videos regardless. I will be back very soon and I'll see you guys in the next one.